Hey, it's Simon here. If you're going to sell anything online, you need to add a recurring element as early as possible. And what better way than to have customers join a recurring subscription of some kind with you? Think about it. To get a customer to come back and buy from you again will require effort. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but wouldn't it be smarter and easier if your customer is enrolled into your monthly membership? That way, you only need to do the selling once and your customer pays you over and over again every single month. Let's say you charge a small $10 fee. Is that achievable? Yep, sure is. You don't have to be a super guru to do this. And let's say you enroll in 100 members paying you $10 a month. That's already $1,000 in passive income. You worked for this only once and the members pay you every single month for as long as they stay. How would you like to start the month with $1,000 already in your pocket before you even start working? I know $1,000 isn't a big amount, but getting 100 members is quite achievable. And an extra grant can help most people at least pay their bills on time or save a bit for the rainy day. Now, imagine you scale this to 500 or 1,000 members. You will make an extra $5,000 to $10,000 every single month. Remember, this is recurring. This is passive. Now, I can hear you say this. Hey, that's a brilliant idea, Admin, but it takes a lot of hard work to run a monthly subscription. I totally get you. Along with the rewards of having a recurring offer, there's another reality to confront. First, you need to come up with at least some content in advance. And then, you need to come up with a new content every single month. And then you need to keep this up. And it doesn't matter whether you have 1,000 or 10 members. Now, I know that sounds tiring already. And if you work alone, all this derails you from focusing on what matters most, which is marketing. And speaking of marketing, you need to write your own sales copy. You also need to prepare your own marketing materials, and you also need to pay some attention to your product design so your members can feel their money's worth. Heck, that's so much work that you need to do and you haven't even gotten started. And because if it's so easy, why aren't more people doing it? Because if you could have done it, you would have already done it, right? That's why I had struggled with creating a recurring offer for years. I continued only because I was convinced of the rewards in the end. Had I given up halfway, I wouldn't be around to even tell you about this. Most importantly, I wouldn't have been able to come back to help you cross the bridge with an easier solution. Now, here's how to succeed with recurring income. You see, years ago, I failed in my first two attempts and finally I succeeded on the third try. And here are my two main takeaway lessons from starting your own recurring offers. Number one, charge affordably. From my experience, I find that it's easier to have a low-cost continuity program along the lines of like $10 a month compared to charging the likes of $47 to $97 per month. While yes, you can be successful charging those kind of prices, usually at prices like $47 to $97 a month, your members will be expecting some high-end premium content or a software service. At this point, dropout rates tend to be higher, especially if you do not know what to do to keep your members loyal. And what if you're not providing software as a service? What if your members decide one day, after looking at his credit card statement, he decides that the $97 charge should be cancelled? Okay. Now, however, when you charge prices like $10 a month, not only your members are more inclined to stay much longer, the pressure to over-deliver and over-impress your members is a lot less. At low monthly prices, it's easier to mass enroll existing and new customers into your new monthly continuity or a paid newsletter and keep happy campus for a long, long time to come. Lesson number two, go fixed term. This is the solution to the question of, oh, am I doomed to keep creating new stuff forever even if I have only a few members? Well, what's fixed term? If this is the first time you're hearing of fixed term, basically it means this. Most memberships or recurring offers out there build forever. Again, you can justify that if you're planning to run a software as a service business or you're already committed to creating a new content forever. But what if right off the bat, you already announced that your membership has a limit to the terms? Now, it can run for as long as like 12 months, 24 months, 36 months. It's up to you. And by the time the term is up, your member ends the subscription. Now, truth is, people rarely stay on forever. 
I heard some marketers say it's considered good if someone is willing to stay for just three months nowadays. But when I implemented this, I found that 69% of my members stayed subscribed and paid every month throughout the entire fixed term. Isn't that just cool? Now, let me ask you this. Would you rather have your customer pay you only once or pay you every month for the next 12 months? Of course, you would go for the latter, right? I mean, who in the arrival would not? Now, all the good stuff told, there's still one more problem not addressed, and that is content creation. You still need to come up with a few months worth of content in advance before you begin, and that's why most people don't even get started. If you've always wanted to have your own recurring offer that brings in residual income, if you tried in the past and failed like I did, if you want to bypass all the frustrating hurdles to have your own monthly offer and get recurring income, then, with your permission, I'd like to introduce the private label magazines. My team and I had created a collection of internet marketing magazines with enough content to last you a full year. With 12 ready-to-go issues, you can rebrand this as your own, sell your own subscription, and keep all the sales you make. And as you can see from this preview alone, we've put in a level 10 effort to make sure this is not only top-notch, but this was designed to be sellable for you. Now, there's only so much I can show in this video alone, but if you would scroll down this page, you will get a more detailed look and why I'm so excited to share this opportunity with you. The most important thing is that finally, you can start your own continuity or paid monthly offer. Not in the next few months, not next week, but today. I'm also including everything else you need to start your own magazine or paid newsletter business in the fastest time possible. Now, how can you make money with this? Here are just six ideas at the top of my mind right now. The first way is that you can sell a monthly subscription, the most obvious. You can charge your own prices like $5 or $10. I'm not going to hold you back on this. You can charge any price you want and start your own continuity program right away. You see, again, using the previous example, if you enroll 100 members and you charge, say, $10, that's already $1,000 every month or that amounts to $12 per year in extra income. Or the second way is that you can even sell an annual subscription. You can incentivize your members to pay a higher fee by charging annual. Now, using the same example again, what if instead you also have an option where you can charge 97 a year and let your members save two months? Would this allow you to get more cash flow in advance? Definitely. The third idea for you, you can use this as a bonus to your high-end programs. Now, if you're already a coach or you already have some kind of program going on, well, this could be an idea that you can consider because these magazines will make terrific value add-on to your programs and build a more loyal following. Idea number four, run your own newsletter ring. You can also use this to build your list and build relationships with your subscribers on autopilot. Plus, since you can edit the newsletters, you can backend your own affiliate links or links to your other products in each of the issue. Money-making idea number five, combine them into a single home study course. The content is homogeneous. What this means to say is that they're all about the same team, internet marketing. And with a bit of creativity on your part, you can mix and match the contents to form your own home study course or middle ticket offers and sell at a higher price. And money making idea number six. Now, although the newsletters and the magazines were not created with this in mind, you can actually spawn off several multiple low ticket offers and price it like seven or $10 with the intention of building a massive buyer's list. Again, these are just some of the ideas at the top of my mind right now, and this is what you can do with the private label magazines. There's still a lot more you can do with them. Now, all the business owners I know invest heavily into starting their own recurring offers. Personally, I have spent on content for recurring offer thousands of dollars each, including those that failed. So if you spent, say, $5,000 to start your own monthly or annual subscription offer, and you charge $10 a month, you're going to need 500 members or 100 members staying with you for five months to break even. Now, that's not really a shabby thing if you ask me, but I'm going to do you better. When you get the private label rights to these marketing magazines today, content creation, done for you. The formatting, done for you. Graphic design, done for you. Sales and marketing materials, also done for you. And the investment, it's not going to be $5,000. It's not $500. It's not $100 even, but a one-time payment of just $47.
and you can charge recurring with this or start your own newsletter ring and build a quality hyper responsive list of subscribers and at just $47 you only need to find five members or one member staying five months with you and you can break even just like that and every sale after that is pure profit act right now and get instant access to the private layer of these magazines